um, we record them. Yeah, we're gonna. Cool. All right. Good, Good morning. morning, evening, or afternoon to anybody that might be watching. Um, my name is Nick, and I play bass. Fernando. Hey guys. Um. Sam, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world and you're watching this. Uh, my name is Fernando and I am responsible for drums. Hi everybody, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it is. I am the vocalist of Celestial Bird. And hi everyone, good day, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. My name is Imran and I play guitar for Celestial Bird. So today we're going to share with you guys how we, um, how has the COVID-19 affected us and, you know, uh, share a little bit with you how we um, cope with it and, you know, we, we get by with it. Uh, we have um, a series of four questions um, that we're going to explain to, you know, answer and give you guys a little insight of what's happening. So the first question is, how has COVID-19 pandemic affected your band plans? Are they canceled, postponed? So you want to start with Nick? Well, I mean, definitely. I feel like it would have affected anybody on their respective scene. We were, uh, if things had been going smoothly as regular, like free of COVID, for example, um, we would have already been having shows. We would have already had events planned that, and what, that would have taken place in the past. Mm -hmm. Fernando? So I'd say COVID has definitely put a damper on many of our plans, like any band's plans in general. Fernando? Uh, yeah, I agree with Nick. It's, it's quite obvious that it would put a lot of performers on so in a bit of a, uh, a deadlock, you know, hard, a tough position to be in. And um, I mean, although it hasn't become impossible for us to continue doing what we do in our own private spaces, it um, it, it really made us sort of lose the whole chemistry of being together all the time you know creating music together is different versus doing it alone and as nick said we probably would have at least had a show or some sort at this point where we could have shared it with other people you know let them know what was going on in the time and well i won't say anything is cancelled everything is definitely postponed because we're using the time to basically sharpen up our skills so that when not if but when this all blows over we're going to be ready for anything mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with the guys too. Um, what? Sorry, guys. What was the question again? <laughs> How the pandemic has affected the band plans, you know? Oh, okay. Um, well, so far, it affects a lot. Um, performing wise, practice wise, we had a lot of time off from practice. But now we we starting to shaping up things back. Uh, but soon I hope everything will go down because our rate in COVID nineteen is going down. I mean, even though it's coming up, a lot of people are recovering, and so far we only had like twelve deaths, right? So yeah. soon, and I have high hopes for it that everything will go down soon. Yeah. So. My view on the whole, on the question is that, yes, it did affect the bands, um, all the bands in the country, um, and even around the world, as you can see, a lot of people tried, you know, to keep things out, uh, alive by, you know, um, doing live um, performance, live stream performance and stuff like that. For us, we had shows planned, you know, in, in this same on June, all right? But because mm -hmm. of what happened, we had to um, postpone for now until you know things gets better for us to um get the show back on the road so um for the second question is what lockdown restriction measures have been put in place and how Guyanese people are coping nick uh as far as i'm concerned i'd like to think I think we lose Nick there. Yeah, we lost you there, man. Yeah, we got you back. Yeah. 
guys hearing it? No. He's no. out? I think he is. He probably got bounced off. His con yeah, his connection probably went down. All right, so Fernando, go ahead with the question until we get back right, next. Yeah. Well, um, so far, they, they, I think they definitely followed the guidelines that have been put in place all over the world, basically, uh, reducing the amount of numbers um, in places. Usually, um, mandatory use of masks and entering those premises, sanitizing spots, and stuff like that. And, um, well, I mean, I think it's the best we can do in that aspect. Because we know they've already things already um really just shut and I think that these are just the smallest but relatively effective ways that uh, we could combat it. So we've been making use of that. Normal. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the question again? How um the lockdown restriction measures what well, lockdown restriction measures we have in Guyana? How is the Guyanese people are coping with it? Oh, um 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So far, I've seen a lot of people have been taking it very serious. But um, uh, uh, there's a few who still goes out in the night and do their business. Like there was a recent show last night with some people. They had a lockdown private party. Mm -hmm. And I saw some a few pictures of someone, but no one was wearing masks and anything. So, as far as I'm concerned, they're not taking it serious. Hmm. Yeah, um, that is true. But um, thankfully, the majority of the the Guyanese um, are taking it serious. And the, the some of the restrictions is you know you can't have good public gatherings. Um, there's a curfew in effect from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, you know, no bars are open. Only essential businesses can be open. Um, they are trying to um, to initiate now a um, a guideline step to you know getting the the public back out in you know get people back out into their jobs and everything. But that's going to be a very careful, scrutinized process, you know, as it goes along. But um, yeah, Guyanese people, I think um, majority of them are coping well with it. Um, I mean, they find the uh, alternatives to get around, get by. But uh, like, like what Omar said, you know, some people, um, some people still want to go out and party and enjoy themselves. Um, Nick, welcome back, buddy. Um, you yeah, wanna sorry about that. I had, to, I had to take a call. I apologize. That's okay, man. Um, you want to go at the question? Um, you know, what lockdown restrictions Guyana yeah. has and how the Guyanese people are coping? I mean, as for the restrictions, I'm sure you guys would have gone through, um, you know, what we're going through with like essential businesses only being able to be open and, you know, six to six curfew and that sort of thing. But from my observation, I've seen that like when it comes to social distancing or measures like, you know, health organizations have put in place um, to help Guyana cope with COVID, a lot of people are just not following them. Like if you go out in town on a regular day, it's very congested, lots of people about the place, you know, lots of contact in the light of the pandemic. And to some extent, I understand it because a lot of people in Guyana work day to day. You have to be out there to make money to survive. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, I notice a lot of people that go out just for, you know, things that are absolutely non-essential. I'd say yeah. in general that a lot of Guyanese are obeying the guidelines and trying to minimize, you know, getting out of the house or only being out of the house for necessary things. But there's a fair share of people that could very well, you know, act as vectors to help the virus spread. Mm -hmm. I'd say that in terms of how we're coping with it, most guy are pretending it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is, that true. is th those are the ones that go in out and party in man. Yeah, the those thing that the is a big hoax, you know, this whole um, virus is a big hoax. And, uh, and a joke to some. All right, so, um, you know, any final thoughts you guys want to share? Um, you know, words you want to say to the international metal community? You know, you guys can go ahead. Nick, you give it a go. Uh, if somebody, anybody, anybody at all, that please, anything with the starting guitars, could please come to Diana. You will have people that will come to your show, please. <laughs> we will have us and other bands. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Fernando, do you want to give any final thoughts? I mean, uh, I mean, we we all share that. I think every metalhead in the world, us included, we all share the bond of 
being able to find some sort of comfort in music, whether things are going bad or not. So, I mean, just keep that alive, you know, keep, keep, have each other's back, represent through the music, just spread your love and energy, be metal as possible to, and keep each other safe, you know, care for one another, don't be mean. Uh, the, the world yeah. is not in its best state right now and all we really have is each other. So as metal heads, we should definitely have each other's back. Yeah. Omar? Um, same with the guys, you know. Like Nick said, y'all please come together. We can come back to your country. Um, <laughs> yeah, guys, thing. just stay strong. <laughs> just stay strong. We will get through this. This is just a phase, a long phase for everybody to learn uh, about cleanness, you know. So <laughs> stay strong and be metal, as always. Yeah, so, um, yeah, guys, um, basically, you guys be safe. Um, you know, don't be reckless and, you know, be considerate to your, your fellow man. And, you know, it all starts with us to combating this virus. And, you know, we got to do our part in, you know, helping the entire world to, you know, help rid this, rid us ourselves from this virus. Um, you know, you guys just stay safe. You know, keep the music alive, you know, keep practicing, keep, you know, writing new materials as we have been, you know, we're using the downtime to get ourselves back to the drawing board and get some new materials out. I mean, it did push us back to um, launching our fourth album, but uh, I mean, that's already in the works, that's already in the pipe. So we're using the opportunity to get some new materials done for our second album. So um, hopefully if everything goes well and goes as planned, we will be coming out to this uh, pandemic and this lockdown with an album and with a second album in the works. So, you know, just keep doing your part, guys, and, you know, um, stay metal for everyone. Um, and, you know, just stay safe. Um, this is Celestial Born, you know, wishing all you guys a good day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Um, thank you for listening to us. Um, you can you know, check our materials out here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter. You know, you can follow us. You can, you know, see our um, what we're doing there. We try to update our social media um, as much as possible to keep you guys, you know, updated on what's happening with the band and so on. So, um, yeah, we want to thank you guys for listening to us and thank um, the, the, the host um, to, uh, you know, having us on, on his channel. And yeah, so you guys stay safe, stay metal. One love. Take care. Take care. Bye.